Well, I'm pretty certain we're going to see a fast start here, Barry, from Ibrahim Suleiman. What gives you that idea? <laughs> Second it was that debut back in the Galau, your fight card in Birmingham. So explosive. I can say, didn't let Michelle Goncha off the hook. But he didn't rush his work, though. No, he didn't. I know it sounds like, a, like a, almost like a stupid statement to make, but he didn't. He wasn't like swinging like a, like a maniac. He was doing this. Just once he landed with a good shot, he really went for it. That was what was impressive, Sky in that debut for him was the variation. We've seen it already, just sinking in two hurtful shots to the body. Yeah, definitely. Um, you uh, you know you're going to be in for an exciting one when, when they're 1-0 and 1-KO. <laughs> yeah, they won't follow it up, and that was another left to the body. He's got Ocampo exactly where he wants him, on the retreat, on the back foot. He'll be trying to pin him in the corner on the ropes. We can let these big shots go to head and body. I always say, when you got, if, if you're a puncher, just make them feel it early, your opponents. Whenever you hit them, I know it's ironic coming from me, but whenever you hit them, <laughs> just, 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 whatever, just make them feel it, because then they know what, what they're up against. They'll panic a little bit. And every time you set up a throw punch, they're going to overreact, either tense up too much, or run away, or fire, and they'll make more mistakes. Is that what you did? I made all the mistakes yeah, against punches, I did, yes. He's doing the right thing here, Suleiman, trying to slow that movement down, targeting the body, trying to sap the energy out of those legs. <laughs> Exactly wants him. Credit to the Colombian. He moves away from that neutral corner. Cut the ring off good though, isn't he? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Sharp footwork. You see, he has that tremendous amateur pedigree, four-time national champion. Oozes his confidence. Step back, step back. He needs to get his jab back into play here. The most long levers. Make the most of all the pause at the end of those long shots. Again. Good. Nice out of Birmingham. He has spent some time on the road. Travel back to the States. He did some work with Floyd Mayweather Senior. So he's a servant to the game. He lives and breathes it. And again, you're seeing that constant pressure. Turning the screw. Applying pressure. Getting too close to I feel. No, I think yeah, smothering his work yeah, at only, times. Only a little bit. I, just, no, it just, it just, I mean, he's not smothering as such, but he's just lacking a little bit of leverage in some of the shots. Would you say that's over eagerness? Yeah, well, he's, he knows he's heard already. He, he caught with the one two the, over the far side of the ropes, of the ring, and he felt the Campo, and then he, he sort of did the right thing, sort of, and he and increased the pressure. Just got a little bit too close. What he's doing so well here as well, Sullivan. What he's doing so well there was he never got too close to that no. foot. So Campbell couldn't hold on, could he? Fantastic. Explosive round in the bag for Ibrahim Suleiman. Superb barrage at the end there. The variation on point, the speed, the power. Credit to Ocampo. He's still there. He looked dazed. He looked hurt. He's under pressure here again, Barry. Well, because he has natural power, he doesn't load up. I think that's the impressive part here for Suleiman. He doesn't load up. So everything he throws is smooth and fast. Even the elbows, which he's been told off for now. But no, but, and even then, even at that barrage at the end of the, and he's, he's doing a little lean back and throw a right hand. You know that, but they just used the speed and the, and the weight of his body, and, and they had a little camp with a little bit of trouble. But the follow-up attack was fantastic from Solomon. He didn't get too close. 
the front foot in the centre no, of the stance and Wilk uh, was allowed to get leverage in those That's body it, shots, no, the uppercut through the middle. Oh. It'd be a real statement if he was able to dispatch of Ocampo inside the distance, spinning with some good opposition. Lost to Oxford's Jordan Flynn. Well beaten, 7 and 0, Charles Franklin. And three for five, Alex Murphy, but all on point. Just put a sweeping right hand to the temple of Ocampo and just uh, had to hold on a little bit. If you're at Campo's corner, what are you saying right now? Move. Do you want it in Spanish or English? Don't change the subject. Oh, lovely run. Pick up for the ball. Wow. Good stuff by Cinnamon. The knees buckle of Ocampo. Another sinking right to the bottom, followed by Ryan Pickup. He's doing absolutely everything he can. Ocampo to grab hold of Suleiman, smother his work, but fantastic stuff from the Birmingham fighter. He's, he's complaining here about Holden hitting the back of the head there, Campbell, but I'm, I'm not quite sure about that. He got hit with some real quality shots there, and Suleiman kept throwing, so he couldn't hold on. Brilliant barrage of shots. Raining in from all angle, angles. Just poking out the jab. I think he's trying to draw out the lead of Ocampo so he can look for that right hand over the top of it. So patient. Doesn't get too greedy. But when he's hurt his man, he really does put his foot on the gas. Right step back. Let him go. Let him go. Both of you. Box He's got to somehow try and push. It's obvious to say this. Everyone would say with a smaller fighter, but you've got to try and push somehow. Push someone back. But, you're walking into shots here, aren't you? Without the risk of walking into a shot. Again, yeah, just took his head off centre right there. Sullivan he threw the right hand. He missed the right hand of Ocampo. He just has absolutely no answers at all. But it's fantastic work <laughs> from Ibrahim Sullivan. Must be said that is three fantastic rounds in the bag as a professional from the Birmingham Fighter. Once again, a blistering start from Ibrahim Suleiman. Is there anything this Colombian Joshua Ocampo can do to weather the storm? But just kind of, he did weather the storm. I mean, caught, you know, there was one right hand there, but someone caught, caught them on the ropes, and he, I thought that was it. You know, he just, his legs dipped a bit, and I thought he was on his way out. But he survived, and he just to hold on. And, 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 and you see the end of the round, to his credit. He's trying to tighten up that guard now, Sky. He's trying to avoid those uppercuts. Ocampo. When you listed off some of the people he's um, gone the distance with, it's, uh, you kind of can expect that he, he knows how to survive and he knows what he's got to do to get through the fight. Yeah, plenty of fight in Joshua Ocampo, that's for sure. It's a blood from the nose of the Colombian. He's on his left arm at the minute. That's what he needs to do, Sullivan. So she finals one, two, right down the centre of the line. Even if there's not much on them, just that, and then, cause you've got enough range and, and length in your legs. Just that little half a step back, you can to fire back off your punches. And then you can fight that bit right hand on the middle. Or the uppercut right through the guard. Just tease him, force him, invite him to come at you now. Poking out the jab. 
to the move. Yeah, he felt that right to the body. And again, he followed up with another shot. Hurtful body punching. Jumps in with a left hook. About a one, two, good sustained pressure from Suleiman. Good composure here from Suleiman as well, because the camera's pulling some faces and sort of trying to show a bit of a bit of toughness here, saying he's not hurt to me, but Suleiman's not quite into that. He's just going around his work, going about his work, I should say. Yeah, very controlled, isn't he? It's a real damage to the nose every time he blows it out. See the spray of blood coming from the damage. Getting that pressure ever doing from Sullivan. He looks for the body shots again. Ocampo complaining there's some shots at the back of the head. I think it's more than the reach that he has. Again, just puts his foot on the gas. He doesn't rush anything. He doesn't get too greedy. He's calculated. He's spot on. He's accurate. He's sharp, Barry. Well, he has the arrogance of a puncher, doesn't he? Because he's, he's again just walking him down, not getting excited, and thinking I've got to get him out of here now. Because he knows he has the natural power. If I hit you right, you're going to be gone. But just still doing enough work to make sure he wins the round. Yeah. And for that, for that little caveat in there as well, he's doing enough to make sure the round's comfortable for him. They're not rushing his work, not panicking. And that's always a sign of a quality fighter. And there's a real maturity from his display. Oh, lovely right uppercut. He walks on to that one. Ocampo done so well. The knee's dipped again. Beautiful shot. monitor there and some of those uppercuts from Ibrahim Suleiman in that third round so hurtful so accurate and again I have to give Joshua Ocampo credit the knees did buckle but he's still there Barry and he, well, he's one of those guys Suleiman they're so tall and long that you think as long as I get to his chest he can't find it he can't find the range can't find the, the, the space to land the shot but he can <laughs> as we see there like, oh, Campo got really uh, Campo really pretty much got his head on his chest where you should be theoretically and he still found the, the, the gap there the fan line that lovely look at Suleiman he's really, he's, yeah, he's really impressive and I'm glad we've seen more of him in this contest what is it that's really taken your eye Sky from Suleiman I think it's the really smart and controlled pressure he's keeping him under constant pressure without Without rushing his work, without smothering his work, he's, he's picking his shots really, really well. He's patient. And for someone who's had one pass, oh, here we go. Right to the body, sorry, Scott. He followed it back upstairs and he dropped with the left as a good sustained attack once more. He's looking at that right hand. The body shot definitely hurt Ocampo. Credit to the Colombian. He's still on his feet. Still trying to let his hands go, Barry. Look there from Suleiman, he took a step back, but he switched stance. He just didn't. He once said switch stance, which allowed him just to fire back again straight away and keep Ocampo under pressure. Yeah, I said it in the previous round, 22. Very mature in his approach to a fight. Doesn't rush much. He's very eager to get the finish. Ocampo complaining again about a shot round the back of the head. But things like that will affect a, a, a fighter you know, with, this, with this sort of experience. You don't think, oh, he's panicking, and you jump on him too quick, and, and smother your work, mess your work up, rush your work, and he doesn't. So focused. Another left there, Barry, from Suleiman Hurt, Ocampo. He's still there, just walks onto a jab from the Birmingham fighter, who is in full groove here. Trying to bite some time, kill some time. Ocampo just grabbing hold and pushing Suleiman into that blue corner. But back comes 
Ibrahim Suleiman, oh, centre of the ring, pushing back Ocampo. The credit to him, he's moved. He's tried his best to stay out of danger, but it's been the body shots, it's been the, the uppercut. Well, look, name the shot, he's thrown it. <laughs> that right hand's done most of the damage, hasn't it, for, for Suleiman. Well, Campbell's he's done so well to survive. You can just kind of see that the final battle looks like that way, and he, and he deserves to as well. And, and for, for Suleiman to get four rounds like this and you know, under your belt, even though he's controlled everything. You know, he hasn't got frustrated, he hasn't been able to get the belt there, he's just stayed controlled, stuck to the pants. He's very focused, and I thought that was an outstanding four rounds from him. Yep, outstanding indeed. Ocampo. <laughs> he wants to uh, give Suleiman a hug and say, Boy, you're some fight because in his debut, he looks incredible against Michel Goncha, and he's just produced four tremendous rounds there against the tough Colombian Joshua Ocampo. Calm, relaxed, mature, you name the word. And it would be accurate to the performance of Suleiman this evening. Like I say, only uh, 22 barriers, still so much to learn, but... I think, I think he was magnificent. Do you? Amazing. Yeah, I, I struggle with that word, Barry. Man. <laughs> Magnifi <laughs> magnificent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. And then well, you, and then well, you, that, you corrected easy, yourself now, by saying it again. You said magnificent, I mean Look, magnificent. Sky, I boxed for 23 <laughs> years, right? That's a lot of punches to the head. I've got to forget, Joe, you know I've just got to forget these big words. I try and be smart. We spoke about this before, Barry. I've just got to realize I'm a dummy. <laughs> but anyway, someone who's not a dummy is Ibrahim Suleiman. Absolutely punch perfect display this evening. See a smile from Joshua Ocampo. Brilliant performance. Our MC David Diamante is ready with the verdict. Let's hand over to him now. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds here in London, we go to referee Bob Williams' scorecard. It reads 40-36 for your winner. He's still undefeated, Ibrahim Spider Suleiman.